The husband and wife charged with torturing their 13 children faced a judge today in shackles. Their court appearance comes as shocking new details emerge about what was happening inside their house of horrors. Stephen Fabian has details. Here they are. The parents accused of holding their 13 children captive in a house of horrors appear in court for the first time. 56-year-old David Turpin and his 49-year-old wife Louise sat in shackles during the hearing. They pled not guilty to torture and false imprisonment. And you're about to hear the voice of Louise Turpin, the mother of those 13 kids. Hi, Daly. It's me. I'm sorry. I missed your call a couple hours ago. Love you. Bye. The voicemails were left for her brother, Billy, just five weeks ago. She followed up with another voicemail a short time later. Hey, Billy. It's Louise. We, I guess we had a bad connection. Louise Turpin's brother Billy and sister Teresa tell Inside Edition they tried many times to speak with their nephews and nieces, but were rebuffed. Because she was strict with TV they watched, because she was strict with them dating, because those things would not automatically lead you to believe that she was chaining them up and torturing them and starving them. I mean, yeah, we thought she was a little strict and we've always thought she was a little odd. Shocking new details of the children's horrific ordeal are emerging. They were reportedly given just one meal a day and were allowed to shower twice a year. These individuals sleep all day and are up all night. All 13 of the victims, uh, including and including the defendants, typically go to sleep around four or five in the morning, uh, sleep all day and then be up all through the night. Riverside County DA Mike Heston is revealing more details of the years of alleged abuse the children suffered at the hands of their parents. Starting many years ago, they began to be tied up. First with ropes. One victim at one point was tied up and hog tied. And then when that victim was able to escape the, the ropes, uh, these defendants eventually began using chains and padlocks. Did you have any clue this was happening? Absolutely not. Absolutely, I would have put a stop to it. I would never let that go on. Teresa and Billy say they want to reach out to the children, but they want nothing to do with the couple who are being held on $9 million bail. The prison people will be nicer to her than I would be. I'm very, very angry. I, I can't say on television what I would want to say to her right now. It's very upsetting to me to realize that the things that those kids went through. The appalling condition of the children contrasts sharply with how the family's no two dogs live. The These year old Maltese sure seem well cared for. They were taken to an animal shelter after the raid on the House of Horrors. The animals appear very friendly, very active. They feel like that they're well fed and they're happy. For my darling, he loves you and he Always will. Teresa and Billy say they have both seen those videos showing the Turpins renewing their vows in the Elvis Chapel in Las Vegas and thought the family was happy. Never in a million years would we have ever thought that she was this deranged, psychotic, and she is no longer, she's dead to me. She's dead to me. According to the district attorney, two of the children actually escaped the house, but one turned back because she was frightened. The siblings had apparently been planning to escape for more than two years.